glider discretions and suspensions. These are two other systems that are related to solutions. Remember, Chapter 8 is about solutions, and we have discussed a lot about solutions. We still have one more topic to cover on solutions. However, before that, we would like to discuss a little bit more about these two systems that are related to solutions. The first one, colloidal dispersion. It is a homogeneous mixture that contains dispersed particles that are intermediate in size between those of a true solution and those of, of an ordinary heterogeneous mixture. What is it talking about? Well, it is a homogeneous mixture. Remember, solution is a homogeneous mixture. But this mixture is different from a solution in that the particle size is bigger than the particles in the true solution. But it is not big enough to make the whole system heterogeneous. The whole thing is still homogeneous. You still see one uniform phase. That's what it's talking about. Well, if this if colloidal dispersion is also a homogeneous mixture, why do we need to distinguish it out from solution? Why don't we just call it a solution? Well, because when particle size is big enough, the mixture, colloidal dispersion, this kind of mixture has some behavior different from a true solution. That's why we have to define it as a different system, different mixture. Because it is not a solution anymore, we cannot call the stuff mixed together. We cannot call the components as solvent or solid. We call them dispersed phase. It's like the solid. And dispersing medium is like the solvent. The particle size in colloidal dispersion is between 10 to the negative 7 to 10 to the negative 5 centimeter. For a solution, it's less than 10 to the negative 7 centimeter. That's the particle size in a solution. Those are the typical sizes for molecules, atoms, ions. Well, what is so unique for colloidal dispersion now? The only property, unique property that colloidal dispersion has, but solu a solution doesn't have, is called Tyndall effect. It's a light scattering phenomena that causes the path of a beam of light through a colloidal dispersion be visible. It might not be that easy to understand what it is talking about. This is what it is talking about. In this picture, the first one is a solution. The second one is a colloidal dispersion. Because the particle size is bigger in the colloidal dispersion, these particles can scatter light. Once the light is scattered, you can see the traveling path of the light. You can see them. The light goes towards your direction instead of the direction it is traveling. So for a fine solution, light just go through it with no scattering, so you do not see the traveling path of the light going through a solution. But once when the light reaches the colloidal dispersion, you can see the traveling path of the light. This is called Tyndall effect and that is due to the scat scattering property of the bigger particles. Suspension. Now the particle size in the mixture is getting even bigger. Now they can be seen by human eyes. Now the mixture becomes a heterogeneous mixture that contains dispersed particles that are heavy enough that they settle out 
under influence of gravity. The particle size is so big that it is a heterogeneous mixture. It is not homogeneous anymore. Given time, those particles will settle out. A final comparison between a solution, colloidal dispersion, and suspension. Solution, homogeneous, homogeneous colloidal dispersion, heterogeneous suspension. Particle size for solution, typically there are atoms, ions, small molecules. Those are the particles that are less than 10 to the power of negative 7 centimeters. For the, in the case of colloidal dispersion, it is between 10 to the power of negative 7 to 10 to the power of negative 5 centimeter. Those are groups of small particles together or bigger molecules. In the case of suspension, it is large particles, which are visible usually. Effect of light. Solution, transparent, colloidal dispersion, Tyndall effect. You can see the traveling path of, the, of light, and suspension is not transparent. Settling properties, solution is not going to settle. Colloidal dispersion is not going to settle. They are homogeneous mixtures. Suspension, the particles will settle out given time. Oh, filtration property. This is the one we didn't discuss. Filtration property. Because these are homogeneous mixture, you cannot filter out the particles. However, these particles can be filtered out. That's it for today. See you next time.